Welcome back to Curl Up With Jamie. Today we are talking about weight judgment. So what do I mean by this? I'm talking about where the sweepers think the rock is going to end up and how to communicate that with the skip at the other end. This is super important to not only help the skip call the right line, but to also help them come up with plan B's if needed. So how do you do it? Well, to be honest, it, uh, it just takes a lot of practice, but I'm going to give you guys some pointers, a couple words of advice that I have, um, and hopefully help you guys out. So number one, this is for the sweepers. As your thrower is delivering their rock, if you start right beside them and move forward with them as they are in their delivery, then you can get a better feel for how fast the rock is going based on how fast you need to move your feet to keep up with the rock. Number two, sweepers have a really good look at the release to see if the thrower extended the rock at all or if they pulled it back. A stopwatch. Now most teams time from the back line to the hog line and on good ice the average draw is going to be about 3 seconds and 75 milliseconds. So if your teammate throws and you get 4 seconds on your stopwatch then you know that the rock might be light so that you probably have to sweep it. But you need to be careful because a stopwatch is just a guideline. It's not the most accurate thing in the world. So what I would recommend is to only have one person on the team using a stopwatch and have the other sweeper um, looking at the release and going more off of their gut feeling. Now the last thing is once you gather all that information, how do you communicate that to the skip all the way down at the other end of the ice? You want to be really clear and concise with this. And that's why most teams use the number system. zone in the house has a number so all you have to do is yell that out and it's super simple. Now most competitive teams use a 10 number system, that's what Randy Furby came up with, uh, but if you're just starting out that could be quite challenging so you could even simplify it to just a 4 number system where um, a high guard is a zone 1, a tight guard is a zone 2, uh, top of the house is zone 3 and back of the house is zone 4. And as you get better, you can add more zones all the way up to the 10 zones if you want. So again, this just takes a lot of practice, but I can't emphasize this enough. Like, don't be afraid to yell out numbers, even if you're wrong, because by the time the rock comes to a stop, you should be able to get it right. So get out there and practice, and thanks again for watching Curl Up With Jamie.